so hello all uh, very good morning this tutorial is about single object recognition in real time using pre-trained cnn model in keras so you show and it's like a normal object recognition problem you show an image and it recognizes it as it's in this image i showed a remote control and it recognized it so how this work you give an input to the cnn model it gets some features like texture color shape or anything and then it recognizes the shape here or uh, the object here so uh, in next video we'll be doing uh, multiple object detection and recognition so you can see it's recognizing all these objects and even localizing it so later we'll see about this but for this video we'll just implement a simple single object recognition in real time and i'm using keras 2 with tensorflow backend opencv3 and i'm using python 3.6 but this model it can it can work with the uh, Tiano backend even with other tensorflow version and i am using windows environment so and uh, for demonstration i'll use two pre-trained models which is 16 and pre-trained resnet 50 there are a whole whole lot of models that you can use it so let's let's go for a demo first and then we'll see how we can implement it ourselves so yeah this is a video uh, webcam so it shows it's a water bottle so let me show it some other object uh, yeah it says it's a banana and uh, yeah but i have more it's a monitor yeah, it looks like ipod but it's a phone actually <laughs> uh, it's, it's not yeah okay ah cellular telephone <laughs> okay that is great and if i have some other objects it's not a hanner it is a visual okay it's a visual so and what if i show it this ah, it's definitely not a wall clock but it's something related to clock it's watch stopwatch okay so you got the idea it will transist now the object is on its own so let's get into the implementation part so this this one is uh it's, it's implementation from a very nice blog you can read this and uh, mr tunes has explained everything choose machine learning page so it's in uh, two parts in part one it's about uh like just classifying with images in part two is with, with video and how we can make it fast with multi-threading okay so first you need to get all the pre-trained deep learning models you can get it from here you just click it here and you go to the deep learning models and this is provided by the maker of keras so it has all, a whole lot of pre-trained model inception 3 mobile net music tiger here and resnet 50 which is 16 19 and exception so you can clone it or download it and once we are done with it okay let me close this and let me open a new ipython console so yeah so once you're done with it so you or uh, you can open here vgg this is a pre-trained vgg 16 network and you can try it out so you have to give an image here so let me uh, so this is a pre-trained uh, vgg 16 model and it will be in the repository so you have to give it just to check it out you you just run this so this is this will call the model and uh, let's first check it out yeah one more thing uh, let me change it to default model the image net utils and then i will show you the changes what is there so let's change it and let's run vg16 yeah so you can see uh, i'm using tensorflow backend and it says it's a brown beer so if, what this image net utils does is it will predict the top five results so it predicts brown beer 97 percent american black beer 0.029 percent and so on so it, it was a brown beer actually <laughs> so you can see it's a brown beer okay so now what is happening here is when you call this model uh, we give the weights as imagenet and this will try to download it uh, from internet 
the weights so weight files are here so either you can run this and your weight files will be downloaded in this location so in your c drive in your users so in dot keras directory inside the models your weight files will get downloaded when you run this for the first time and the next it will take it from its own and if you want to do it offline maybe you can go to this location https github f call it i don't know how to pronounce deep learning and you can get its weight so for using pre-trained weights you just download this one and if you want to like do it for transfer learning you can download it without the top layers also so i have downloaded it and now uh, it's in this format so now if like uh, we want to get just the output image uh, like the name uh, actually you can he has given a link for his implementation in part two of his tutorial so you you just go here and yeah so in this uh, first what you do is uh, ImageNet Utils, you just copy this part, uh, this decoding of prediction part, you copy this whole, and once you've copied it, you come to your ImageNet Utils and you paste it here. So I'll just comment this out and I'll use his version and let me save it. Okay, so now uh, let's first implement object recognition with image files. And you can get almost everything he has mentioned here. So, in his deep learning part. So, for image files, you have to use this test imagenet.py. And yeah, so pretty much this this one. You have to give your folder of images. So, let's see how, how this works out for me. And uh, yeah. So, uh, since I have. A folder of path let me run this and see so I'll run it from a prompt window let me go to the location I have and let me activate my tensorflow environment I work in anaconda spy 35 let's take some time Okay, and let me change my directory to my tutorials object recognition real time D learning and let me run yes object image files dot pi minus minus folder and the directory name is images. So you'll see all the image files being up. Oh, okay, what is that? I don't think I have to worry about it for now. Yeah. So it says container, which it is not. So book. So I have just taken random images. Backpack. Maybe there are images which are not trained in pre-trained. I mean, in the image model. This is no, not a harmonic. This is a brown beer. Yes. This is not a necklace. Uh, this is a beer glass. This is carpenter's kit. This is a crayfish. It's a monitor. So I have this whole lot of images. You can just take your images, a coffee pot, and just just try it up. So it's a table lamp. It's a desk or backpack, space shuttle, and beagle. And I'm done. <laughs> So you see what here, uh, here we are loading the model. So you can load any model. So for uh, either you can load the VGG16 model and you have to mention weights as ImageNet or I'm using ResNet50 model. So you it will uh, automatically download those weights and keep in your this directory of users.keras models. And if you want to do it manually, obviously you can go to the path and do it. Okay. So now let's uh, see how we can do it in real time. So let's first do this without multi-threading. And actually in his, in his blog, you can see 
uh, he has described all this very nicely so you can read through it once yeah just one change uh, which I felt that need to be done is here yeah so this transpose actually he was doing because uh, he thought like it's uh, what to say the format which Keras is taking is uh, channel comma width comma height but which actually it is not it is just reading in this format width comma height comma three so you need not do this line okay and uh, you, you can get the codes from here so it's in for the camera it's camera test.py and for image files is test image net.py but uh, first let's um, in, in his model is he has done with multi-threading so if you want to do it uh, without multi-threading first so you import all these libraries and uh, then you assign a label and first of all you give a, a you a, what to say uh, call your model so first you have to import this you can see i have imported from vgg16 import vgg16 for resnet you can do same from resnet50 import resnet50 and yeah so i have opened a camera object and while it's open it's resizing and then it's converting to rgb format it's reshaping it in the format of number of images comma width comma height comma channel and no need to do this transpose part then this is pre-processing and this is predicting the model so let's see how how it does in real time without multi-threading and we'll see why we need to go for multi-threading so it's open okay ah, so let me see so you can obviously see that there is a delay not a delay quite a delay so it's it's because uh, let me search more objects why oh, it's not recognizing it let me get some other object okay it's a monitor but but you you can figure out that there is a delay there and the reason for it is uh it it reads a model and then uh, here the model is predicting it and it will take some time for prediction because it's feed through entire vg 16 network it will do some computation and then it predicts the label and then we showed the image so the workaround as the in the blog it's mentioned is to use a thread so as in here oh, this one is pretty big. so here we import all the libraries here here i import resnet model also and you import a threading module and in this what we do you can see here there is a threading part which does the computation of uh, uh, computation of level when image is fed everything and it just return the predicted values and the main part here it just uh, resizes it and this frame is fed to the multiprocessing module and the original frame which was read is kept on showing okay so there will be a one two second delay of the result coming and displaying on the screen but but it will be kind of real time so let's run this and first let me stop this ah what is this? so the light here is not good so let me take a new module sorry new console and let's run this uh with real time so he, here uh, this this code is same as that mentioned in his uh, github except one changes is i am not transposing it because i am getting the shape as I, I need it so you need to comment out this particular line and yeah let's run this and see the difference so you can see this okay it's still loading the model Mm, yeah you can see this banana and you can see this there is no lag as it was in previous monitor then laptop website or this is kind of really real time looks it doesn't look like perfume but it's kind of confused <laughs> no problem so you you got the idea i mean my, my main uh, idea is just to show you 
that uh, how fast it is it's very real time it was not without multi threading so this was a good work around from him and we kind of get a real time performance so uh, try this out with different models here so i have tried with vgg16 and i have tried with resnet 50 yeah and one more thing is uh, in image net utils so maybe i was facing my maybe maybe because of my network so this was not being downloaded for me the class index so you can go to this particular location you can get this uh, index json file and again you can keep it here and if it, it actually should take automatically and automatically it should be saved here but if not then you can try this out so uh, pretty much that's all from this and try this out and try different model and have fun and uh, read his blog so to get more clearer picture and this is the blog name okay and yeah i, I guess pretty much that's all and it, it should work for you too okay thank you and have a great day